What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Frontier Pilot Simulator. Now, I almost never play simulator games, let alone flight sims, but I've always really enjoyed flying in games, just because it's something that so few of us ever get to really experience firsthand, and I saw some screenshots of this on the Itch.io page and thought it looked interesting enough to check it out. It's all about transporting cargo on a foreign world. I mean, Frontier Pilot Simulator. But I, uh, it opens up with a brief text box saying that this isn't an alpha or a beta, this is a tech demo. And I, uh, I just wanted everybody to know that going in, that this is not the actual game. This is just a proof of concept. But, um, I actually haven't looked at these controls yet, so... Throttle, reverse thrust, upgrades, trade, ship manipulator, cargo ramp... Okay! I mean... So what's going on here? Okay, I think I might need to take another look at this. Okay, so space is throttle. Shift is reverse thrust. Y is ship manipulator? Am I not supposed to be using a mouse for this? Dude, I don't know. Oh, sweet! Just straight up vertical takeoff. Oh, I have to hold space. Oh, God. Whoa! Whoa! This is really cool! I can't really say I understand what's going on yet, but... I kind of like these controls! Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay. Let's... <laughs> let's come in for a nice... So <laughs> Oh, let's come in for a nice soft landing here. Oh shit, we're already on the ground. This... this is not going well. That's okay. I'm a rookie pilot, okay? I'm... I'm just we learning it. Get this heavy water to KI deep mining as fast as possible. I'm sorry, what? Um... So, how do I control the camera? Or is it just always fixed behind me? Okay, repair, refuel, throttle, trade. So, X. Heavy water tanks packed in a pallet. Okay. A and D, right arrow to... Oh, God. Um, down arrow, space. Okay, yeah, I'll take this. Where are we going with it? I have no idea. I gotta look at these. <laughs> what does Y do? Yeah, yeah, okay, um, X, Y, no, okay, I am so confused. Alright, repair, refuel, let's refuel. Awesome, do we need repairs? I think we're okay there. Um, so we've got west, south is ahead of us. Where the fuck are we going? Is there a map button? M, map, awesome. So, where are we going with this? Heavy water installation? Okay. Space or return to select target? Oh, is this where we're going? Um... Cool. So... Heavy water tanks. Cool. How do I look at the specifics? <laughs> um... Map. Oh, wow. This place is absolutely enormous. So, we have the heavy water tanks. Oh, I'm guessing this green circle is my goal. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's get going. This is so cool, though! 
I just, I absolutely love flying in games. It's just, it feels so free and open and liberating, you know. Sure, we humans are three-dimensional creatures, but we live a very, very two-dimensional existence. Always stuck on the ground and whatnot, but I don't know, just, just being able to get up in the sky. Oh God, there's winds and rain. I really like these weather effects. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, so, uh, delivery mark is... Oh, it auto marks our delivery. Oh, goodness, we're, we're a hell of a lot closer than I thought we were. Shit, that was not nearly as far away as I thought it was going to be. That's okay. It seems like... Okay, okay, let's come in, come in nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, we're coming in a bit fast! All right, let's let's set down. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. That uh, that didn't go perfectly. It looks like we are a wee bit smoky. And enter. Thanks. Those reactors are not gonna cool themselves. Oh man. Come to the hangar and buy new power engines. Magnetite ore in plastic containers. Okay, we'll take that. Let's um. X, refuel, refuel, and repair. I don't know where my HP is. I see that stuff in the bottom left there. Okay, and then we pop open our map. And where is our delivery spot? Um, is our delivery spot in the exact same place? No? Whoa. Is this procedurally generated or is it like all handcrafted? I don't think it's procedurally generated per game, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, generated and then, you know, saved. Okay. Um, maybe water and. Oh, metal refinery. Maybe that's where we're going. Let's, let's just head there anyway. Let's see what's going on over there. Um, I don't know if that's actually where we're going. Oh man, that, our fuel ticks down, like, kind of unnervingly fast. Oh, it says buy engines? goodness I is my thrust lower now or something okay so can I maneuver when I'm on the ground or do I actually have to lift off and you know just kind of parse my way over here don't mind me I'm just meandering along Oh, hangar repair point. I get you. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually taxi. If we can, I have yet to figure it out. Okay. Okay, we are in here now. And we can't open that, so let's repair and refuel. No? Okay. Um... Map, upgrades, oh, H. Whoa, dude, this is really cool. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm really cool with this. Wow, I like the level of detail in here too. Okay, so W, S, A, and D to select upgrades. So we can buy New engines for 10,000? Oh, dude, nice. And upgraded cargo weight capacity. I can't afford that, can I? 
Let's repair. Cool. So let's um, let's get out of here. We'll pop over for a quick refuel, and then continue on with our delivery. Okay. Thanks for pushing. Now your ship's lifting forces more powerful. See you later. Oh, are we just taxiing now? Passenger available. Destination, KI Metal Refinery. I, th I think we are just taxiing now. I do wish this was a little bit faster, but that's all right. Lower the rim. I'm not running topside. Okay. Um, how do I do that? Let me let me just get to the <laughs> to the landing. Lower the rim. I'm not running topside. Yeah, I heard you the first time, Brosif. I I have to look up how to do that. Uh, cargo ramp is T. Oh, that's cool. They're even animated, and we see them from another perspective. This ship is not nearly as big as I thought it was. That's okay, though. Uh, T. All right, let's... Uh, let's... Yeah, of course, man. Let's get out of here. Oh, dude, we got some new engines. All right, so... You're closer. So I'm gonna head to you first. I think this is just heading back where we were earlier. That's okay. KI Deep Mining Facility. Metal Refinery. Okay, so just holding space lets you go up. You keep some of your forward momentum, but... Oh, V for wind mapping? Holy shit! I feel like I'm in the goddamn Matrix! This is insane! Please, please keep in mind that I have absolutely no point of reference when it comes to comparing other flight simulators and, you know, anything that's in this kind of genre. But I... I am thoroughly intrigued and mildly interested in this now. Okay, so we're just, we're kind of coming down slow. Okay, so let's lower this. Lower the rim. I'm not running topside. Yeah, I know. Um. That's not my stop. Can we make it to KI Metal Refinery next? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I thought I had a delivery That's over here. That's not my stop. Dude. Can we make it to KI Metal Refinery next? Dude, shut up. Next? Please. Uh, T. That's not my stop. M. Can no. we make it to KI oh my Metal god, Refinery dude. Next? You need to stop talking. Um, X. Is this... Oh. That's not my stop. No, no, Can let me out of this. KI Metal Refinery next? You're going to launch the game soon? No, let me out of this. Yeah, fine. Cool. So, we traded everything. We picked that up. Let's get out of here. Um... Our passenger finally shut up. Can we make it to KI Metal I had to say next? something, didn't I? All right, let's. Get off to KI Deep Mine, will yeah, you? yeah, that's where we're going, man. I'm sorry. Whoa, looks a little more windy over here. Holy crap! This is really pretty. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. Okay. So will I... I don't think I maintain altitude when I... Uh, don't hold space. I... I can see how people get lost in these kinds of games. Oh, oh, we're here. I don't know if I'd make a good pilot. 
So do I... Do I take any kind of damage from just perusing around in, like, high winds and whatnot? Uh-oh. We are coming in a wee bit toasty. Uh, okay. Every pilot out here will surely find use for custom adjusted engines and low T? profile wings. Have you seen the storm density here? Get a fresh set as soon as you can. I'm nice. So, hey man, just double the rim and I'll be on my way. Okay, so um X Yes, is this awesome? Purified cerium plates? That's not my stop. Can we make it awesome. So let's close that up. And is there a hanger here? Here's a little something for you. Let's let's turn around real quick. Oh, there's another landing and trade zone over here. Cool, so let's pop over here and see what's going on. Are there, like, ship color customizations? Because imagine being able to run around in a ship that was completely designed by you. Alright, let's refuel, refuel, refuel. Um... I think I need to actually, like, move forward to be able to taxi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have I done? Oh. Let's... Let's just take straight off. Let's come over here a little bit. Oh! I do really like how maneuverable this is. It's... A little slow... In its responsiveness. But it doesn't feel unrealistically sluggish or anything. So let's dock. So I can buy new wings, but how much money do I have? Can't buy those, but I can buy those. Okay, I guess that's everything we need to do in here. Congratulations on being one of the first people ever to try out Frontier Pilot Simulator. We know you've probably encountered a bug or two, and it's not the smoothest experience at this point. We would, however, like to know how satisfied you are with what we saw. Dude, I'm going to talk about it at the end, so um, I would be like, let's see, not really my thing, but I think it's a good product. I'd like to see more updates, make sure it's something that I... I I'm going to say this just because I don't really, I don't really know at this point. It seems really interesting, but I don't know how much I would I would play it. Um, so let's let's taxi back out to this. Let's get a refuel and a repair. I have a passenger on board, so let's do K and L, and let's pull up the map real quick. So where are we going? We haven't been over here yet. Screw it. I don't know if this is where we're supposed to be going, but I want to go here. All right, let's turn on the weather and let's get going. Oh man, I get like this little feeling of anticipation in my gut every single time I take off that I'm just like, what are we going to see out here? What's going on? This is just... It's a really cool experience. I know it's probably not for everyone, but... I don't know. For what it is, you've got me interested. You've got me intrigued. What the hell is going on down there? Turn on wind mapping. Can I, like, get an updraft from that or something? Oh, I feel like we're kind of high. Oh shit, there's a distress beacon. Oh, okay, no, let's get some altitude. We were dropping a little bit faster than I thought we were. Camera? Camera? Oh! Oh! oh. Well? This, uh... Might be a decent place to end this episode.
Is this just like flying us back to the nearest? Is this supposed to be happening? Was this like a little launch thing that just sent us off to like an escape pod? That's kind of cool. But yeah, I um, I get that this is just a tech demo, so I've got to be a little bit easier on it overall. But I I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. The camera needs a little bit of work, and the UI feels a little bit cluttered. But I think that that would be something that you get used to over time. I, I don't know. I've said it a couple times this episode. I don't really have a basis of comparison as to... Um, you know, this entire genre. I never play anything like this, but I can really see how people get really enthralled and just wrapped up in, in these types of simulator games. Um, the camera needs a little bit of work. The, the voice acting is all right. It would be a hell of a lot less grating if it didn't repeat over and over again. Just, you know... Hey, dude, this isn't my stop one time, but uh, having him repeat it over and over again got a little annoying. I, I do think there needs to be some improvements to the menu system. I think since we're on a PC release, being able to use the mouse would be awesome. Navigating menus by keyboard only kind of ignores the fact that we're on PC. I know this has controller capabilities, but I think just ignoring half of PC controls might be a little bit of a mistake. Um, I think a customizable UI would be awesome, and maybe a little bit clearer objective markers. I don't know if that's something that a lot of people would want, but save for the stuff that showed up on the the UI itself, the big reticle that showed up around the ship. I didn't ever really know where I was going. I was just kind of guessing on the map. But this is really cool. This is really cool. I'd be excited to see different kinds of ships, more upgrades, um, maybe a little bit more flexible... Uh, vehicle options. I imagine some people would be really content flying around in a giant unmaneuverable freighter and some people would be really happy zipping around in a tiny, tiny little agile um, cargo ship that maybe held a quarter as much as the freighter does or a tenth. I don't know. There's, there's a lot going on here. I don't think I can talk about all of it. I don't think I have the experience, expertise, time in the genre to really give enough usable feedback. But this is cool. This is really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.